Hello my beautiful Geminis and welcome to your love reading for late April 2022. I hope you're doing well. I am now back from my break. I went to Hawaii. It was amazing and now I am excited to do your love reading. So let's get straight into it. Um, I can see there's been an ending for you, Gemini. First card to come out was the Ten of Swords. Um, I asked why this Ten of Swords, you know, is it a betrayal, is it a breakup, you know, what is the deal with this ending? Um, and we've got the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So you could have got tired of being breadcrumbed, someone wasn't offering you enough, um, and so you called it, you called it quits, you called it a day, um, you, all you wanted was fairness and balance and equality. Um, with this justice card and you knew that it wasn't being offered so I feel like you weighed things up you were like I'm not getting anything out of this and you um, decided to walk away um, seven of cups you could have decided to end things because you know you were sick of the confusion um, not knowing you know where this connection was going this, this person could have been inconsistent with their communication but what I was getting more from the seven of cups was you know now that this has come to an end you're kind of thinking well what next am I ready to see um, if, if I'm you know, am I ready to date again or what am I wanting to invest my time and energy into now that this is done and dusted is kind of the energy that I'm getting there okay so let's have a look at a deck that I use for my singles. Let's see what's coming for you in love and then we can revisit what this happened, what happened um, more recently for you. Just to give you that bit of closure. Angels and Spirit, what is coming for Gemini in love? What is coming up for Gemini, please? What's coming up for Gemini in love? What can they look forward to? Coming up for Gemini. It's coming up for Gemini in love. Late April 2022, heading into May. Hmm. Some of you may have a Virgo coming in. What is coming up for Gemini in love, please? So we've got photographer. Now I'm just getting that you are kind of feeling a little bit nostalgic. You might be looking back at photos and processing what's just happened. Um, you've got Libra. So someone on the cusp of Virgo and Libra might be coming in for you or those two signs. Um, someone with prominent Libra and prominent Virgo, you know, um, that's what I'm seeing here. But I just feel like with this scales of justice, you just want fair and equal relationship. You just want balance. Someone who wants to give as much as you do. Um, we have someone who may smoke or vape coming in. Um, they might be a little on the shy side. Some of you may meet um, while you're on the way to work grabbing a coffee on the way to work, something like that, or a drink after work, because we've got coffee and bar. Both of those came out. Um, so you could be out with work colleagues. Um, and we also have Aquarius and Capricorn energy. Interesting that you've got um, Virgo, Libra and um, Capricorn, Aquarius, they're consecutive signs. Um, very, very interesting. Okay, so that's what I'm, I'm being shown. Alright, so let's see. I want to do your simple love advice. In doesn't spirit, what is... Uh, okay. Congratulations, it um, just fell out of the deck. So Spirit does want to acknowledge um, your progress. You know, there's been personal growth during this challenging time, you know, with the Ten of Swords. Um, you might have to have made difficult choices, but you've, um, you've really grown 
from this experience. So Spirit is saying congratulations on who you are and who you're becoming. Everything that you've been through is paying off. So just take pride in everything you've achieved in your journey of self-discovery. Um, recognize your efforts and success. Uh, keep going, you're on the right track. Um, now, you might be a little bit closed off to others at this point in time because you've got open or closed. Um, you know, you're still processing from the hurt. So you're not quite ready to let anyone in. Um, Spirit is saying just um, um, work on opening your heart up. Okay, because when you protect yourself, yes, you won't get hurt, but you also won't let anyone in either. So it's a double-edged sword, right? So let's have a look. More advice for Gemini, please. In love, late April 2022. Um, I feel like it's it's might be a good time to just take a break from romance because you've got the Band-Aid card that suggests it's it's there's healing that needs to be done and if you were to kind of look to jump into an, another relationship it may be so that you can fill a void and that's never, never really a healthy thing to do um, external love cannot heal internal wounds you know another person cannot heal your pain um, you need to kind of let the wound breathe in order to heal and recover all right so um, that's that. I want to have, I want to have more of a look into this Ten of Swords situation. What happened in the recent past for Gemini, please, in love? What happened in the recent past? What happened in the recent past, please? What came to an end for Gemini in love? Come to an end for Gemini in love, please. Let's come to an end for Gemini in love, please. Avoidance, ghosting, um, uh, you know, Seven of Swords talks about someone who was avoiding commitment, someone who was avoiding communication, someone who was sneaky. Um, yeah. Okay. What came to an end? A relationship. What came to an end? You know, the thought of building a future together, putting an effort into this. Um... feel like you just decided to end the cycle because you know you decided to give yourself closure um it was something that your ex wasn't able to offer you um that's what I'm getting I'm getting someone who was invested someone who was giving their all um someone who had a lot to offer which I feel was you Gemini with the Empress card involved with a page you just were on different levels. Um, the other person was immature and not um, this Earth Day, fulfilling their end of the bargain. YouTube Sorry, excuse me, this sound. This rare planet we call highly Earth. annoying Tell ad is interrupting us. Along the way. I'm just going to mute what this. Makes Earth so unique. Um, yeah, so there was an ending to a situation where there was love. The Ace of Cups is here. At one point in time, you know, the cup was overflowing. But the two of you weren't um, on the same page. You weren't seeing eye to eye. We have the two of swords here. You were moving in different directions. Um, one of the p people in the connection, I feel like it was the other person, was just resisting transformation. They weren't taking things to the next level because we have the death card in the reverse. Um, we have the devil card. So... 
it, it was a toxic situation. Um, and I feel like that's why you were willing to, you know, remove yourself. Um, yeah. One person was willing to kind of see where this connection was going and then the other person was going off in a different direction. That's what I'm getting here. Um, we have two aces. Uh, one is in the upright position and one is in the reverse position. Which is telling me the ace of wands in the reverse is um, one person just wasn't doing what was necessary. They weren't taking the necessary action to ground the relationship. There could have been mind games and man manipulation with the king of swords in the reverse. Even narcissistic tendencies there. Um, so you decided to call it is what I'm getting. I'm getting immaturity too with the fool card in the reverse and a sun card here. You were sick of wondering. You were sick of being left out in the cold. Um, you felt more alone with this person than you were, were when you were single is what it feels like. Okay. Um, so let's have a look at the Moonology messages. A new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, so you have the courage to close out a cycle. Oh, Gemini. What's coming up for Gemini, please? Late April 2022. What's coming up for Gemini in love? Yeah, a personal issue reach, reaches resolution. Do you need to release? Yeah, you're letting go of this relationship. Um, luck is on your side and nothing is yet set in stone. This is you trying to figure out your next steps, where you want to go to next. Are you going to travel? Are you going to focus on your own career and your business goals? Um, are you going to launch into something new? Um, because you've got, have faith in your dreams. It looks like you're Focusing on a completely new direction. You're putting love on the back burner, possibly. Um, which is, you know, good. It's part of the healing process. You're channeling any anger and frustration and hurt into something constructive is what it feels like. So what's going on for Gemini? Late April 2022. Late April 2022, what's going on for Gemini? Yeah, we've got Devoid of Light. Um, yeah, it's talking about heartbreak. That's the Ten of Swords energy. This person kept you in a state of uncertainty. We saw that. Um, they just felt safe hiding. That's the Seven of Swords energy where they avoided, avoided conversations, avoided facing the truth, avoided um, talking about feelings. Um, they were quite independent, so they were more about themselves than about, you know, the, the team. Um, I'm seeing there. I'm going to get some final messages from this advice deck for you. What is the love advice for Gemini in late April 2022? Forgive and set yourself free. Everybody makes mistakes. Practicing forgiveness can allow you to break the cycle of pain and move on to a happier life. Even taking small steps counts. Okay. Okay. 
feel like your person just wanted their freedom and independence. Um, don't be tempted to stalk them on socials. You can't, don't over research. Um, so it's talking about, you know, um, yeah, just don't stalk them basically. Uh, you've got turn the negative to positive. So this is an opportunity for you to pursue things that maybe took a back seat when you were investing in this person. Um, yep. Handle rejection gracefully. So it's not about you. It's more about this person um, and the two of you and your goals weren't really aligning. So just learn how to handle rejection gracefully. It's not easy, but it's a necessary skill. Let go of the idea that you can change someone's mind about it. Um, just put your pride to the side. Um, you know, the ego never likes rejection, but uh, just, you know, forget about it. Forget about that this person. Um, maybe have a little bit of compassion for their struggle because we've got a card here saying wear their shoes. Um, to understand their actions and choices because I feel like it will help you accept what happened a little bit more. Um, you've got sex is not love. So um, I don't know, some of you might be tempted to go off and um, have some casual sex to kind of get over this person. Uh, this might not be the healthiest way to go about it. I'm not judging, do what you will. Um, others, um, maybe you confuse this connection to be, um, you know, love when it was really more about the passion. Um, anyway, the final message is leave the past in the past. So keep moving forward, change your focus. Don't assume that whatever happened here will repeat itself again. What's past is in the past. Rehashing old wounds will only poison the future. Let it go. Okay, so I hope that this reading, while it was a little bit Debbie Downerish, I hope it gave you a little bit of closure. Hope it um, helped you. Do leave me feedback in the comment section. Like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.